Right. So uh, moving on, and I will also talk about uh, installing. Um, so in the case of Ubuntu or Debian or Raspberry Pi OS, which is uh, previously known as the Raspbian OS, uh, there is no binary packages available. So you need to install uh, the package from source. Look at installing uh, a software probe by compiling it from source in in uh, in a in a Debian or a you know a Ubuntu or a Raspberry operating system. So the instructions are the same. Uh, irrespective of whether it is Ubuntu or Debian or Raspberry Pi OS. And um, in this case, as I mentioned, we are going to compile this package from source. So this is going to take some time. So, what so the first command is to update the package repositories. So as you may know in the Linux world or in the Linux operating system, you have uh, software which is also referred to as packages. Uh, these packages can be installed from servers which are called as repositories. So using the command apt or it is or or people who have been using Ubuntu or Debian based systems from uh, from pretty long uh, would would know a command called as apt hyphen get. So uh, sudo is basically a super user do which gives you root permissions. So in the case of if you are already root, which I will suggest that you uh, you do you do not log in as root because that's not a good uh, practice uh, to begin with. But assuming that uh, for some reason you are doing it. Um, then in that case, the, the sudo command will, will not be required. So when I do this, what it does is it updates the package repositories. The next thing what we will do is we will install prerequisite packages uh, uh, required for uh, every now and then after executing a command, what I will do is I will uh, clear the screen so that it, it uh, goes to the, the next command which I'm going to execute. So the next thing what we are going to do is after updating the package repositories of um, Debian uh, apt package manager in this case, what we are going to do is we are going to install certain prerequisite packages which are required in order to build and install the, the software probe. So there are multiple things required like Git, which is going to be required for you know uh, downloading or cloning the repository, tar for you know compiling or other more specifically uncompressing uh, uh, tarballs or you know compressed files and bunch of other things. Oh, I'm sorry. Forgot to prefix the command with sudo and when I do that, it will install those packages. And the next thing is what we do is we will download the source code. Source code is is the raw source code which is um, which is available on the GitHub repository using the command git. So git clone uh, hyphen hyphen recursive and the link to the uh, software probe source code. So once you do this, what it does is it downloads the entire um, uh, source code in the in the local directory. I'll wait for this to to complete. And once you do that, uh, what you do is you will. So if I do an ls hyphen al, you can see that a directory called as ripe hyphen atlas hyphen software hyphen probe has been created which is basically what the git clone did and now what i can do is i can execute this command which is um, in, in that directory there is uh, there is a there is a tool which will build or will which will take the source code which we have downloaded and compile the entire source code and install it on on your uh, on this machine which i have so if i do this this is going to take uh, uh, some amount of time. It may take, in fact, a few minutes because the compiling process is subjective to your uh, to your uh, processor architecture as well as well as uh, your processor more specifically. So, depending on how how fast or how slow, as well as what the processor is doing at that point of time, the amount of time will will be subjective and will vary. Um, somebody has a question. Could you let me know what minimum time should the probe run daily? Uh, I would at least run software probe, but since I cannot run the the PC 24 by 7, I would run it whenever I can. Right? I address this question uh, a little later, probably after installing the software probe on probably the best practices uh, uh, according to me, as well as uh, you know maybe Anurag can chime in as well. But uh, it's it's the whole point of uh, running a you know a probe. In the case of the hardware probe, of course, it, it kind of eliminates all the all the friction of you having to have a separate machine or something else. 
But in the case of software probe uh, or, or a probe in general, it definitely makes sense to run it all the time. So one option which I will probably uh, suggest if you can do that is to use a, a low computing device like let's say a Raspberry Pi, which uh, uh, you know supports uh, software probe and it's a headless device consumes very less amount of power and you could probably you know I have a, I have a few uh, probes running as well as I've set it up for family and friends where I, I just connect it to the network and, and just keeps on running plus you can you can you know run other things on it like a DNS server as, as well as others other stuff but I'll probably come to this revisit this once we have done with it right so uh, you can see that what is happening here on the terminal screen um, uh, which you're able to see is is the compiling process and uh, this is going to take some time. So what I will do instead, I'll probably shift track a bit to installing the software probe on CentOS 7, um, which is uh, using binary packages. And that is going to be much faster because the package is already available. It's, it's, it's um, uh, available for installation. In fact, oh great. So we are, we are, we are pretty much done with uh, the installation. So if you see this at the very end, it says that uh, build package Atlas software probe and it is pointing us to a file. So if I do a, uh, I do a listing of all files and folders, I can see that it has created a file called as Atlas uh, soft SW probe hyphen 5020. That's the version of the probe dot deb. So in the key, in the, in the red art world, you have in the, in, in the CentOS and red art world, you have something called as dot RPM in this, uh, in the Debian Ubuntu, as well as, uh, Raspberry Pi OS world, it is .deb because they have the roots to Debian operating system. So what we, we can do is we can say dpkg hyphen i and that's it. We have uh, managed to install the software probe on, on Debian 10 in this case. And the next thing what we have to do is we have to register the probe. So the installation is, is, is to be done only once. The registration is also to be done only once unless there are certain edge cases, which I'll talk about. But uh, we now need to tell the RIPE NCC uh, uh, infrastructure or the RIPE Atlas uh, uh, dashboard saying that, uh, you know, I have installed a probe and here are the details of that probe. And the way you do that is, uh, as I said, the probes use something called as SSH. Uh, so it generates, so when I installed this probe, it generated a SSH uh, public and private key pair. So here is the public key uh, of my probe which I have just installed. So this is my public key of the probe and uh, I will take this, go to the browser to perform the registration of the probe and I'm hoping that I have it here. So I have the link for where, where do you go to for installing the probe. So it's atlas.ripe.net uh, slash apply slash SW probe and you need to be logged in, of course, using your um, using your RIPE Atlas account. Once you do that, you will see a form which is which is going to ask you for a certain amount of you know information. One is the AS number. So for people who are not from the network operator background but would like to contribute and host a probe, one way to find uh, your AS number is to go to bgp.he.net, uh, which is by Hurricane Electric, which my good friend Anurag works for. And uh, if you go to this page, it will show you your AS number. So this is the AS number. So in my case, I am using um, my internet service provider is, is Railtel. So my AS number is AS24186. Uh, the other uh, project which I'll, I'll, for diversity, I will also mention or talk about is, is by a friend of mine uh, uh, by name Darren, who runs something called as bgpstuff.net. So if you go to bgpstuff.net slash AS name, uh, you will see the AS number. Uh, it will show you your AS, AS number as well. So in this case, uh, 24186, that's my AS number. You don't need to uh, prefix it with AS. I am based out of Belgaum. So I will, I will say Belgaum, country is India. And here is where the public key, I need to paste the public key, which uh, I demonstrated in the terminal. Let me show you that bit once again. Here is a path to the, to the public key file. So you copy this public key and you put it, uh, put it here. And once you do that, you uh, accept the terms and uh, conditions and submit your application. As soon as you do that, uh, you know, you'll get a thank you message for doing it. And you will receive an email uh, if you're able to see, which says that thank you for applying for a RIPE Atlas software probe. Uh, but hold on, uh, even now the probe is not yet created. Uh, this is only the message 
which the right atlas um, infrastructure tells you is automated message which is telling you that the we have received your application uh, but the probe hasn't been created in the system yet so in a few minutes time uh, what will happen is we will receive one more email saying that the probe has been successfully created and um, it will also give you the link where the probe it will give you the probe page link so each probe has an individual uh, unique link which tells uh, information about how long the probe has been active which asn it is whether it is in uh, v4 whether it is v6 um, whether uh, it is behind the mat i mean you can also tag this as a user but um, you know that's the probe page so we'll wait for a few minutes in the meantime right so i think uh, as i said this may take a few more minutes i believe it ideally takes based on my experience around 10 to 15 minutes for the probe to get generated and an email to come to your inbox confirming that the probe has been created uh that's my five year old daughter that's her way of saying hi uh, during the software probe registration if the as is x after a few days if the isp change do we need to make a change in the system that's an excellent question so in the case of the 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 software probe uh, one of the things you know you might have realized or you'll probably see once i uh, once the probe gets generated in the system is the fact that um, even though you are supplying information with regards to the as number uh, it is also detecting it automatically and it will show it on the probe page so maybe once the probe uh, gets created i will i will come to your question kumar 